Hey guys, Cece back with a new video and today's video is going to be my favorite products for fall and winter. Now everybody has that little time of the year where they switch things up. Usually twice a year you switch your makeup products and your beauty products up to suit the seasons. So you usually switch them up in spring and then you usually switch them up again in fall. So this is the fall time so I'm kind of going through that switch right now and I wanted to show you guys my favorite products to use for the fall and winter time now in the fall and winter time my skin I think it's changing on me because last year it got very dry like oily person dry not like dry dry but oily person dry in the winter time and usually my skin is oily all year round but like I said it got like that oily person dry in the winter time where I started to peel like on my forehead a little bit and even on my nose area I started to peel a bit if I didn't use a heavier moisturizer so in the fall and winter time I've even been switching my moisturizers to something heavier but um, I also switched my makeup products with that being said so jumping right into it most people like to use heavier foundations in the winter time and I'm all about that cake life all year round usually when I'm wearing makeup but in the winter time I find that it's also better for me to wear my lighter foundations as well um, I say that because a lot of times the lighter foundations aren't made for oily people they say they are but I find that lighter covering foundations aren't as mattifying and they tend to move around and they tend to wear off and fade off because of the sweat and the oils and everything like that so I can't really wear lighter foundations in the summertime because there's no point so in the winter time that's when I like to get the wear out of my lighter covering foundations and usually I wear lighter and cover light lighter covering foundations on an more of an everyday basis I'm um, going to work so this is the covergirl ready set gorgeous and it's in the color 310 and this is by far one of my favorite lighter covering foundations and as you can see I have like used a lot of it so this is probably going to be repurchased soon and I went through a phase where I love this then I hated it then I loved it again and so hopefully I'm still on the love upswing I haven't used it yet this season but um, I'm hoping I'm still on the loving end of this I'll let you guys know if I'm not but I did do a full review on this this product so if you want to see it I'll definitely link it down below going with that would be a lighter setting powder this is the MAC mineralized skin finish in medium deep this is one of my favorite setting powders to use with a lighter covering foundation like this and that's because it doesn't add too much coverage the reason you use a lighter covering foundation is because you want a lighter coverage so putting on a heavy powder kind of defeats the entire purpose so this definitely just sets your makeup in place make sure that it stays put and finishes it off without adding too much coverage to your your foundation so I really love the setting powder but again it's not very mattifying so it's hard for me to wear this in the summertime so that's why I incorporate it in the fall and the winter now wearing lighter covering foundations means I can wear heavier face makeup right so this is the Sonia Kashuk undetectable cream bronzer in rich bronze and I've shown this on my channel a few times I love to do a cream contour in the winter and fall time and this is by far one of my favorite products to do that with this um, is very affordable it's like ten dollars at Target and it's really great as you can see I put a big dent in it so this is probably one of those products that will be repurchased soon but I really love to do cream contours in the fall and winter because I don't feel like I have on a shit ton of makeup and it's just gonna slide off everywhere so this stuff is great the only thing I hate about it is that they only have two colors there's like one lighter than this and then there's this one so if you're probably a shade darker than me you can use that anything past that anything darker than that this is not the product for you because they don't have a shade for you so Sonia Kashuk will step up her game and get my dark skin sisters in on the mix this is amazing Sticking with the face, I love deeper blushes in the fall and winter. Who doesn't, right? So this is one of my favorites, and this is the Black Radiance in Plum Sorbet. And this you can find at the drugstore. Super duper affordable. And it's just the most pretty, like, purple blush ever. 
it's so so pretty and it's not too overbearing so that's why I like this blush you can pair it with a lot of different makeup looks and again it won't be too overbearing another blush that I love for the fall and winter time is this Kat Von D blush and this is in the color Hardogram. look at that deep berry blush is so so pretty and you can't help but fall in love with this blush I also have a highlighter here most people talk about glowing in the summertime and the springtime but I like to glow all year round baby so of course I'm going to mention this highlighter this is Becca's opal and this is by far my absolute favorite highlighter ever it took me a long time to jump on the opal bandwagon but once I did I'm hooked and I'll never go back like ever to any other highlighter because this is simply amazing. I will say that I have another highlighter that comes at a close second and this is the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo in number two and this highlighter is the most beautiful. It's a gold highlighter. That opal is a champagne but this is like pure gold and just amazingness. Let's look at that. And it blends out super easy so it's not this like intense gold on your cheekbones it blends out super easy and just super smooth and it's so pretty moving on to eyes I have two eyeshadow palettes one come on now y'all knew I was gonna mention this and this is the wet n wild comfort zone palette that's what I'm wearing on my eyes today and I'm just loving it olive green tones are like I don't know olive green tones and fall just go together and you guys know about wet and wild I talk about them all the time their shadows are amazing the pigmentation is amazing and this is one of their most infamous palettes it's not limited edition so you can go out right now and get your hands on this and these are like $4.99 so you cannot beat that and then along with that I have a higher end option and this is the Naked 2 palette. I always pull this palette out in the fall and winter time just because the colors just scream fall and winter to me. I love this palette. And so like this color, my favorite colors are Verve and YDK. Look at Verve. Oh, that is like the most beautiful silver-ish color. And then YDK. Oh, so pretty you can do so many looks with this you can do smoky eyes you can do everyday looks you can do so many things with this palette so this is definitely a must have for the season I have a good amount of lip products in here as well I like all different colors in the fall and winter I like deeper colors I like berry colors I like pink colors I like nude colors I like all different colors so I just have some of my favorites here but before you put on a lip color, you want to make sure that those lips are not dry and that they're moisturized. My lips get so dry in the fall and winter time. So I must, must, must have this e.l.f. lip exfoliator. This is like the best thing ever. And mine is almost gone. But this is the e.l.f. lip exfoliator. And it's shaped like a lipstick so it's so easy to just go around your lips and just exfoliate. It's very grainy and it's very abrasive. So if you don't like that, you won't like this. But I love it because my lips get so dry and I feel like they need that. Now for the lip colors. I have a nude one here. Well, you know what? We'll start with the one I have on. The one I have on is by Revlon. And this is in the color... Cocolicious, Chocolicious, Chocolicious, I think. And it's just a deep brown, and browns, mm, so, so pretty. I love me a brown lipstick, y'all. And these Revlon lipsticks are super affordable. They're found in the drugstore Ulta. You guys know where to get Revlon. Love this one. Then I have another nude. This is a lighter nude, and this is one of the Lix, NYX suede liquid suede lipsticks and this is in the color sandstorm it's like a lighter it's a deeper gray brown almost nude color not too deep it's still very nude but it's deeper than a regular skin tone nude if that makes sense it's really pretty I really like it this is one of my newer purchases but I have quickly fallen in love with it I don't know if you'll be able to see it there it is so gorgeous 
moving on I have another color this is like a pinky it's not a nude but it can be an everyday color this is Stila's um, stay all day liquid lipstick in patina and I believe I've showed this before but this is such a pretty color and like I said it's a nice little everyday pink color and there's that one two more lip colors this is a favorite and this is the 908c sugar plum fairy by wet n wild this is one of their mega last lipsticks and i'm running out of swatch room here but there we go oh, there we go i haven't swatched this or used it all season yet but i think i'm wearing this tonight yes honey yes last lipstick i have is a mac lipstick of course and this is by far probably my absolute favorite fall lipstick ever like this is it right here this is max diva and this is just if it's fall time you must have this lipstick like you must there's no other option so there it is right there nice deep burgundy matte lipstick Alright you guys, so those are my essentials for the fall and winter. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I really love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to follow me on social media. I will have all of my links down below. I do have a Snapchat. I'm still working on how to use that thing, y'all. So, forgive me if I don't snap very much, but I do have a Snapchat so follow me. All of the links and the names and usernames and hashtags and handles and everything will be down below. So so definitely check that out and any other links to any videos that I mentioned in this video will also be down below so check that out as well and I will talk to you guys in the next video bye guys